Hey guys, this is Nate coming back to you today. And uh, I've got a little experiment I want to share with you guys that I'm going to start today. Uh, I went to pick up some worms today. I'm wanting to see how fast worms can break down cardboard and some other organic matter, some of these leaves laying around my yard. Uh, and the purpose for this is I want to show you the, I mean, all I have to work with in this yard is like is like a sand material I mean you can't really grow anything in it and I'm about tired of uh, of wasting my time trying to grow anything in it so I'm gonna start making my own dirt see how fast these worms can can break this organic matter down make good good dirt to grow tomato plants in and things like that and those lemon trees whenever they get bigger they're gonna need to be transplanted so I was just gonna do a little experiment to see about how long it takes for those worms to break those sorts of things down. So, I went to Walmart this morning, picked up some night crawlers, 18 Canadian night crawlers. Uh, so let's see exactly how many of them are in there. All right, now I've already put some manure in this bucket right here. I filled this bowl up five times and that's how many that's how much dirt I've got in that bucket how much manure so I'm just gonna take these worms I'm just gonna dump them out in the bucket that's a big old bunch of them down in there not quite sure there's 18 of them but I mean there's definitely a couple. They don't look very lively to me. But maybe when they warm up, they'll start moving a little bit more. I mean, they don't look too good in my opinion, but maybe they'll come out of it. Maybe it's just because they were cold in the, in the fridge where Walmart was keeping them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, get some of that cardboard, add to it. Just mix it all up. Now I'm going to add just a couple handful of leaves. Mix it up a little bit more. And now that I've got that mixed in real good, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more dirt, some more manure. Kind of cover it all up a little bit better. Mix it in some more. All right, they should have plenty in there to eat. I'm gonna take this cup of water. I'm gonna moisten all of it. Not too much so I don't want them swimming. Just want it wet. Just want it wet. Now you can see them. They're starting to become a little bit more lively moving around some. Down there's one. That one 
isn't really moving very well yet, but it's warming up. So maybe they might they might come out of it. I mean, maybe you can see them moving around a bit. So they should they should be all right. Now I'm gonna go ahead, put the lid on, drill a couple holes in this, so that way they can breathe, just so that way everything can circulate nice. Now this is just a a quarter inch drill bit. Just popped a couple holes in the top, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna put this in a cool area. I'm probably gonna toss it in the closet in the house for about two weeks, and then I'll do an update and pop the lid so that way you guys can see exactly what has happened, how fast the worms are are tearing tearing that organic manner up try to get some dirt if they do a good job and they break it down like I expect they will in two weeks or so I'll start adding more to it I might add another I might just go ahead and add another one of these cups of worms just to so they'll break it down a little bit quicker but uh whenever I get them to break it all down once again I'm gonna use it for potting some some plants this spring you see I got one of them rabbits trying to get in that cup but uh other than that, I'll be getting back with you guys here in about two weeks over this. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. In about two weeks, I'll have that other video for you give you that update. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.